It's a new weekly challenge, and this is an interesting one because our star hero is Glenn. He has a very specific purpose. He's particularly good for any missions where you are searching for loot and stuff like that. So I'm gonna, let's give him that. And let's just have a quick look at what is involved in this weekly challenge. I'm bringing Yumiko along because she's part of my daily challenge, kill walkers with Yumiko, great, brill. It's giving her a fantastic weapon there. And I'm just bringing Maggie along because we can get some more XP if we use her. She's a good, she's a good farming character. No pun intended. Okay, so what we're looking for is really missions in this set where you're going to find yourself interacting with stuff like this. However, this takes two turns. Two turns to open, so we're not really getting the most out of Glenn's leadership trait with that very first action. As soon as we start opening that gate, now we can see that it's glowing red, so that means there's some kind of a trap. Anytime that you interact with something and it's glowing red, that means that it's going to set off walkers, um, something's going to come running in to attack you. Thankfully, that only takes two turns. Now, what else do we have here? One turn. Okay, so we're going to be able to see Glenn do his thing. He interacts with something. He's still got an action left. His weapon, by the way, has got swift strike, so we get uh, we essentially get two attacks per turn. So yeah, I guess I guess Glenn does have some value on this stage. Now, of course, any character, uh, if he is the leader, has his skills as well. So that means this is going to be a very good set of missions on which to earn supplies. Glenn's Lucky dumpster trait means that everybody earns some supplies when they get a kill. Um, as well as also giving you an action after you interact with something. So let's see if the rest of this mission set is a particularly good fit for Mr. Ree as the leader. Obviously, you want to get at least 610 stars. That is the point at which you um, are no longer being rewarded tokens for the seasonal event but you want to get that maximum 610 stars we're going to do that now it's it's 15 minutes if that so lots and lots of rewards thank you thank you thank you weapons free kill all walkers okay so i don't see glenn's leadership trait as being particularly useful here again he's all about searching stuff Okay, so this is one of those kill all walkers missions where walkers are going to come in for a couple of turns. How many turns? So one. Okay, we've got some explosives worth bearing in mind. Get a lot of bang for your buck, but if they are destroyed with a ballistic weapon like that, then they will explode, so you can't really have them anywhere nearby. They are a double-edged sword, of course. If they happen to spawn next to a bunch of walkers, just all you have to do is just gently tap that exploding walker with a ballistic weapon, and they will explode, uh, and they will take out all the other walkers. So I think for this one, definitely you're probably going to want to have Glenn as as your star hero to get those extra points, but take ranged characters. There's a couple of walkers each turn, lots of exploding walkers. They're not even coming in thick and fast. Look at that, two walkers last turn, one walker that turn, easy mission. Take those ranged characters, shoot the exploding walkers, get some easy kills. Just make sure that you're not too close to them when you do it, otherwise you're gonna blow yourself up. But hopefully that's not too challenging a mission. If I'm wrong, if you are struggling with it, maybe when you get to the plight or anything, then um, let me know. Either I or somebody else, I'm sure, will be able to help you. Okay, let's reap the rewards. Yeah. 
get to the door and get it open. Looks like we've got some exploding walkers, looks like we've got some armoured walkers. Good combo there, armoured walkers, lots and lots of health. Exploding walkers, they really take that away. Okay, I know this mission, this one can be a little tricky. Now we've got, uh, obviously, a threat counter. Hmm. What I'm interested to do is see actually if they stop crawling out of that tent, perhaps after the reinforcements have come, because that gives you another strategy. Let's just see what happens if you just stand here. Okay, we've got walkers still flooding out. That's probably going to keep on happening because of that twitching corpse pile. Okay, bunch of new walkers come in. That's fine. That's because the threat counter hit zero. Perfectly normal. Okay, so that's... It's only a couple of turns um, that the walkers are going to be coming out of that tent. You saw what they were. Some, some armoured walkers, regular walkers, and explosive walkers. But if, if you're really struggling, there's, there's maybe two ways that you could try and do this. You could try and rush to the door. Try and get that opened. You might find yourself sort of struggling with some walkers that are very close by. Um, or you can bide your time. The walkers on the left side of the screen will stop coming. Now, obviously, when you blow up walkers, it makes a lot of sound. It massively increases... Well, puts two notches on the threat counter. It increases the threat counter more than just a normal kill. But uh, you could always take weapons that reduce threat if you have those. Otherwise, just sort of suck it up. You can see where those walkers are going to come in when the threat counter hits zero, coming from the bottom of the screen, as long as you're ready for them. Or, of course, you can just bring just bring melee characters. When you shoot armoured walker, uh, explosive walkers, they explode instantly. Obviously, if you're going to get up close and personal, you've got you've to tear them down hand to hand. A little bit trickier. But there's no risk of you blowing yourself up either. Great, great. Let's keep it the same team. We're just at the very start, so... I don't think we need to worry too much about our team. Although... Three fantastic scout characters right here. Um... Ooh, yes please. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's see if uh, having a bundle of scouts on this looting mission, mission works for us. It's not often that melee characters get to detonate exploding walkers but there are ways to do it uh, he can't reach anyone I can do this, it's a bonus attack oh, something that I didn't check and I, I, I think it must be the case I think scouts must start charged it's always, always, always worth checking not that I did um because it can make a difference. For example, that last mission where we had to open the door. Well, if all of your scouts are charged, you might well be able to just scythe your way through uh, through the walkers. And then get to that door, start opening it, and maybe the, uh, you know, trying and, try and get it done quickly is a better idea. Oops, should have moved Connie to where Glenn is. Okay, and here we go. This is, this is what I was sort of saying. You can see... How if you use melee characters, you can definitely avoid, you know, the threat counter bumping up. But you have to actually tear down those explosive walkers as opposed to exploding them. Okay, that worked pretty well, actually. Um, obviously, we're only at the start of the challenge. As we get to the higher levels, things get an awful lot tougher. But scouts are your, your hardest hitters, basically. Um...
I think that's viable. With Glenn as the leader, having three scouts, you're going to traverse an awful lot of the map. And don't forget, you get that extra action after you interact with something. So you can move at the absolute extreme of your movement. Search a box, and then you get your action after that again. You can, you can really zoom around the map very, very quickly. All around the watchtower, find the loot and get to the exit. Okay, this sounds like another one that's absolutely perfect for Glenn as the leader. I kind of like how they picked the right leader for the mission set. That, that seems to be the case. Yes, yes, this one's tricky. Indeed, everyone does, every scout does start charged. That's good. How you use your additional action is up to you. I I like this. I know that we're going to have some walkers coming in from that tent on the left. Okay, he is confused. And now he's dead. I've been using my extra action to, uh, to attack walkers, basically. But, of course, what you can do... You can make it so that you're searching two crates at a time. This is a very good mission on which to have Glenn as the leader. And that was actually kind of fun. I think a team like that could actually be very effective still later into the game after you've completed a couple of missions and it gets a lot more tricky. Really, really suggest using weapons with swift strike and also threat reduction is going to be useful on this map set as well. If you don't have that, fine. Use the best of what you've got. But I think those are particularly good skills. Threat redu um, Quick Strike works so well with Glenn's leadership trait. You get to search something, kill something, search something, kill something, search something. You know, it, it's, it's very, very good. It works very well. Threat reduction. It looks like all of these missions have got a threat counter, except for the kill all walkers. Open the gate and get to the exit. I'm, I'm getting a funny feeling that this might be one where we're going to have to hold the line a little bit. If that's the case, it's not really... Thank you. Uh, it's not really uh, using Glenn to the best of his abilities, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I know this one. Okay. Okay. I think we really want to get opening this gate as quickly as possible. No threat counter, and I think that really ranged characters here are a very, very good idea. Maybe characters like Tyrese could be useful. Um, he obviously has the ability to slow walkers down. We're not going to make the most of Glenn's leadership ability. The handiness of having tactical on your armor. And that's because this gate takes multiple turns to interact. Um, any weapons that you have with crippling or ensnare so that you can root the enemy in place, very, very useful. It's only a couple of turns really that you've got to work on that gate, but I strongly suggest getting over there as quickly as you flipping well can, starting to work on that gate, and then defending whoever is doing that. All you've got to do is open that gate and get out of there. You don't have to kill absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, slowing the walkers down is a pretty good bet. I think that that is the whole set. That's every mission sort of covered. Again, I like it. It's a pretty good set with which to have Glenn as the leader. Works for me. So the explosives and blow up the gates. Yes. Okay, there we are. Back at the start. Fun mission set. Good choice of leader. 
scouts are charged, so you get to just get straight in there and start ripping walkers apart. That's always good. If you've got any questions about any of the missions or anything like that, please do let me know. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.